Man, I watched my sons last night. That grunt, when I keep saying that Anthony Edwards was a grown ass man. No, no, when Shaq said he loved Anthony Edwards, yeah, I'm okay. like, I'm with you, Shaq. Yeah. When I saw him on, that, on ESPN last night, when Anthony, he said, I'm just going to kill everything in front of me, man. It reminded me so much of Michael Jordan and Kobe Bryant. They would kill you to win a game. It's not many players in today's game. Everybody want to be buddy, buddy. But man, Anthony Edwards is letting everybody on notice. Yeah, I'm not going to wait for y'all to give me anything. I'm going to take it all. And I love it. Anthony Edwards reminded us a little bit of this brother right here. Everybody know who the hell we talking about. This man was absolutely sensational. I got up out my seat. I told Ken, I said, Kendrick, I said, yo, Perk. This brother put on a show. And when he was boogieing in the third quarter, most of it was on Kevin Durant, okay? Let's be very clear about that. Yep. It ain't, he didn't go after some sub, okay? He went after right. Kevin Durant. And so when you look at it from that perspective, Minnesota is coming. About making sure my people eat like niggas. You don't even know what I speak about. Long nights I've been losing my sleep about. Don't give a fuck what you niggas do beef about. Only time I do a dose when I eat how it used to be broke, but you see when I'm sleeping now. I, 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 I roll up a blunt, I relieve myself. I only came here to be myself. Being broke, I can never ever see myself. I need something to keep me. I need something to keep me calm. Dreadhead skating that nigga take long. When I wanted, I needed to stay in the song. Gang, 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 man, YouTube, AG, 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 I know y'all boys just watched, but the Minnesota Timberwolves did to the Phoenix Suns, man, I know y'all boys seen it, man, so today, man, y'all boys read the title, man, me and my dog Q Millie, man, we running it up with the dynamic duo today, man, I'm gonna show y'all boys the build I'm using in this video in particular, bro. Baby boy, man, be great, get right, or get left down. As y'all boys know, man, I always talk about being a fucking dog. And who wouldn't be a better suit for that build than Anthony Edwards, man? The upcoming face of the league, man. And you know, bro, I couldn't forget about my dog, Humili, man. My dog got that passion, my dog got that drive. You feel me? That will to win. You talking about double dog, bro? You gonna find out, baby. Boom. Hey, bro, disclaimer, man, warning on the vid. I want y'all boys to know, man, these randoms, bro. I want to be transparent off the rip, bro. It's me, Q Millie, randoms, bro. It just, you feel me? It ain't really what it's hitting for, bro. But I wanted to give a disclaimer, bro, because these niggas will find a way to sell, you dig? But I want to show y'all boys some, some quality gameplay, man. As y'all boys can see, you got the easy block. It already started right there, bro. The late pass up the court. You feel me? It's all about the simple things. Be a guy who can do the little things, bro, and change the game in a huge impact, bro. So, like, look, I skipped through the whole first half simply because I was allowing these boys to go crazy or attempt to, right? You see, we trailing, bro. You feel me? But now it's me and Q Millie time, man. This is where I'm telling you, bro, it takes a lot of patience. It takes a, the will to win, bro, and it forces you to bring that dog up out of you, man. And when you run with these randoms, bro, you never know what you're going to get, bro. The non-existent defense on this game is absurd, bro. Man. So, hey, watch this. Cute man, Lee. Let's go, bro. But, like, look, we got to turn it up. We only trailing 10 points, bro. The lead isn't too crazy. But, like I said, bro, if boys are getting dogged on defense, bro, there's no way. If you can't get those stops, bro, you would never get that dub. Me, I'm trying to take advantage of the leaks. I'm taking advantage of getting out the break, bro, and get the easy bucket. But like I said, if you can't get a stop, you will never win, bro. Think about that, bro. Make sure y'all emphasize defense next time y'all boys run it up in the red, bro. But look, 38-24, bro. Let's get right. So during this time, man, the big man who inbounded to me, and I think his homie as well, end up quitting. So now it's just time to simply take over and do what we do, bro. This is what happens when... You feel me? The floor is being spaced, bro. This is what happened when, you feel me, you take your time, be patient in the half court, but you also take advantage of what's going on in the long court, bro. You got to do the right thing, bro. Look, check me. I'm taking him to the lane. You feel me? I couldn't do that because the Randall's be running around holding nuts, bro. <laughs> Hold, running around holding nuts is crazy, bro, especially on a guard bill, bro. You gotta do better. You gotta do better, bro. You have to be better. Look, easy lob. I appreciate you, my boy. But look, let's knock down this lead. We are trailing 11 points. Third quarter is coming to an end. You see the stats 16, 
five assists. Not too crazy, but look, let's turn this shit up. Let's see what we can do on oh, Baby Boy. Watch this. Get the easy leak. Easy, easy bucket. And now that we got a little bit of fire going, bro, let's take advantage of this in the fourth quarter, bro. Let's see what we can do. Let's see if we can turn this shit around. You feel me? And there ain't no excuses, bro. A win and a loss. You did. But look, 11 points trailing still. 18 points, five assists. Hey, it's kind of rough, bro. Too much firepower. You dig? Not enough stops. Look, black water with the easy backdoor cut. And we finally knocking this lead down. Down eight. Look at that. I was about to shoot swing into Q. Hey, he been going ballistic with that drop step and them posterizers, bro. Them standing dunks is definitely OP, yo. No cap. No cap. But look, let's get right. You see the stats. You feel we not looking too good, bro. We getting smacked. Like, and I don't understand, bro, because these niggas is not that nice, bro. Look, something subtle, swing to the top of the key. That's a bucket. You feel me? They're not that nice, bro. You feel me? And it's just sad because when you got random selling for a majority of the game, half the game, bro, it makes shit difficult. Everybody want to score, bro. That's not your role. Sometimes you got to come here and lock shit up. Take, a, take accountability, man, and step outside yourself and be built for the team, bro. Stop being selfish. Sometimes you, we need you to lock some shit up. You feel me? Me, no matter how I'm playing on offense, bro, I can make late passes. I can miss shots. Whatever the case may be, G. One thing about me, bro, I'm always going to come strapping shit up because I know there's two sides of the game. You know, baby boy, bro. That's why I call myself a two-way player, bro. Anthony Edwards' build is dumb crazy. And playing with a smaller build like this, for the most part, bro, they're not going to expect you to be punching boys in the face bro yes i'm a shooter i'll be shooting with this bill i'm shooting 70 percent baby boy bro we end up coming up with that loss bro let's tap in with the next one you can see bro we already started this one off to a rough start the stats four points one assist we trailing by seven but this one's a little different bro this is a game where i like to say look bro i'm playing with a five man you feel me but like i always say and like i said in the last one sometimes we be the randoms but you have to put an emphasis on playing defense, bro. Getting stops. You're always going to make mistakes, bro. Everybody make mistakes. But if you ain't strapping shit, you're not getting quality stops or taking advantage of the fast breaks, the outlets, bro, then you won't win, bro. Feel me? You see the stats. I got 18, man. Four assists. Feel me? Me, Q, Millie, bro. We was definitely going crazy, bro. Like, I don't. I just didn't understand why we wasn't getting this dub ski. We got to come out with it. But look, we finally tied the ball game up. Check me, bro. Come on, bro. He's trying to press me out. I'm in the corner if you need me, bro. He's looking. He's tweaking. Hey, I need that. I need that. Appreciate you, my boy. Look, 42 to 40. Four minutes left in this game. Four minutes left to strap something. And y'all boys see my stats. 25 in all defensive stats. I'm shifting. I'm, I'm pressing. I'm doing whatever I got to do. I'm doing everything besides reaching. Cause if you get the reach it, man, I'm on baby boy, bro. They definitely gonna teach you some stuff. No cap, no losses. He's pressing me out. And I'm trying to tell my man's cut back door, bro. Like, and I'm getting pressed, bro. Something that it's always open, bro. I'm telling you. We already five out and we spaced the floor perfectly. Niggas just gotta take advantage of the slips. People gotta take advantage of the backdoor cuts. I definitely miss a wide open shot. But if we take advantage of the backdoor cuts without somebody having to tell you to cut, I promise you, you you score. 10 times as more points as you usually do, bro. No cap, man. We end up pulling this one through, bro. Game three. Back to me, Q Millie, man, with the randos, bro. I'm telling you, something is wrong with the randos, bro, in this game simply because when it comes to basketball IQ, bro, sometimes boys do not care. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not going to cap. Some of the stuff you see people do, instead of just leaving the game, they start shooting full courts. I'm not going to cap, bro. These boys need study, bro. They need a full body scan. I think these boys got CTE. I'm not going to lie to you. But, you feel me? The randoms we have dealt this game, they weren't too bad, bro. I ain't going to cap. When they come to spotting up, they were decent. The issue comes to hand when it comes to spacing the floor. If... You feel me? If I'm beating my mans up the court, look, they both holding nuts. This is two BH bills at the two and the three. They come up court holding nuts. And because of that, there was no space. They forcing me to three hunt. And look, regardless of the fact, I'm passing it, you dig? 
Like, what more do you want from me, bro? Like, I'm passing, but they not passing to me. This nigga wiggled his life away. And these boys definitely need study. You feel me? Take this gameplay with a grain of salt. You dig? And understand that, yo, all it takes is one or two players, bro, to throw everything off. No cap. All it takes is one or two players to throw it off. You feel me? A lot of ball holding. You feel me? Not enough space in the floor and no defense, bro. That's... It's so sad, bro. I finally got these boys to space the floor, but they was talking to game chat, but they wasn't saying nothing. You said, bro's mic was going off, but it was like, damn. You feel me? You got to let boys do what they do and let boys work. But when you got a disadvantage, you're really handicapped. No, no cap. I'm shooting it, bro. You beat feet. But, like, boys is really playing handicap. And this gameplay is really... In reality, bro, it's like two and a half versus five. Me, Q, Millie. Oh, my God. <laughs> hey, bro. But look, it's me, Q, Millie with two randoms that is selling. So it's me, Q, Millie, and the AI. That's the half. So two and a half men, bro. You feel me? And I got 8.6 assists, bro. I'm trying to facilitate, but I can't. These boys is rapping. These boys is doing whatever they could to get open. To do whatever, to do nothing, honestly, bro. But like, look, we are trailing, bro. 15 points. That's a lot, bro. You feel me? No, that's a steam. You gotta shoot that. But when the game starts a certain way, you feel me? And boys don't end up either switching their mindset up and, and correcting their mistakes, or you feel me? These boys don't lead the game. I'm telling you, bro. It's finna be like this, dog. And this is sad. I just had to show this gameplay because, bro. The community has to do better, bro. You feel me? I know it's not always about the wins and the losses, like I tell y'all boys, but it comes a time where, like, come on, bro. If you want to be able to score and, and get the rock, dog, sometimes you just have to space the floor. Sometimes when you're not moving at all, bro, I promise you, boys will forget about you. you dig? So when I'm spotting up, I'm really spotting up, dog. When I'm not, I think I'm trying to catch a body. Look at the stats. I do have 12 assists, knowing these niggas are trash. <laughs> I had 12 assists and these niggas are trash. And I'm sorry, bro, but sometimes you just have to be honest, bro, with whatever's going on. Be honest with yourself. Feel me? If I'm having a bad game, bro, I always just try to take accountability, bro. Even if I'm not at fault in full, I could be feeding the randoms by mistake. You feel me? Missing wide open pass and I hold myself to a higher standard, bro, because you have to want to be great. You feel me? But, like, sometimes, bro, you can't make excuses for foolery bro you can't because if you make excuses dog you ain't never when i say never bro you ain't never gonna be great bro feel me and look at these youtubers man and look at it as motivation bro regardless of what player build what type of play style these boys play with bro it's like the infinity stones bro you have all the information you need bro you could become the best player at this game. You could find the best big man on the game, the best guard, the best lock, whatever, bro. Put it all together and become the greatest team that ever touched NBA 2K, dog. I'm going to catch y'all boys the next one, baby.